It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Aldi's new vegan no chicken burgers. That's a look at them there. 200 grams, so 100 grams per burger. 20 minutes in the oven. We're going to be pairing it with a Theodore Schwartz Brewing Company's Anarchist Hazy IPA at 0.5% ABV. It's a bottle cap. Let's get cooking. Burgers cut. First of all, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. 0.5% ABV Hazy IPA. Not sure what to make of this, to be perfectly honest uh, with you guys. I'm sure they've made a massive effort to get a lot of flavour in the beer. It is the middle of the day, so I suppose the, the upside of all of this is that I could probably jump in my car and drive it if I wanted to. Certainly quite hazy to look at, two finger white head. Very light straw coloured beer, nice levels of carbonation, let's get the aroma. Really, really juicy. Really juicy, like... Really tropical. Like they really dry hopped it. Uh, and there's, there's next to no malt in the beer. That's, as you can see by the colour. But lots of dry hopping going on. Lots of tropical flavours. Let's dive into this. I'll say it again. 0.5% ABV beer. Cheers. It's just like a fruit juice. It's, you get a little bit of grain. But it's all very, it's very much like having a carton of mixed fruit juice. Not the 100% concentrated stuff, but like the, I don't know, 65% and then the 35% is water. It's like a it's like a dilute diluted concentrated juice that's carbonated. What do I think of it? Um there's a few reasons why I drink beer, and I'm, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of saying that I actually like the feeling of being a bit tipsy. Um, it's probably the reason why I started drinking in the first place as a kid, and it's probably what the, one of the reasons why now, uh, as an adult, I, I've carried on drinking. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I like to get tipsy. I do like the feeling. Um, I find this nice and relaxing, and yeah, I'm happy with it. How many of these would I have to... Of course, the other reason now, after reviewing beer for so many years, is complex flavours. Is another reason why I drink beer. And the third reason is I just like it. It's a very social thing. Uh, So I'm not going to be able to get drunk off off this. I'm not going to be able to get tipsy off this beer. It's zero point five percent ABV, and then and then we go over to the complex flavors which I talk about, and and there really isn't that many. You, there's no complex malts in the beer. You're not picking up like lovely grains as you would a four, five, six percent ABV beer. Because if you add a lot of grains to the beer. You, 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 you're making sugar and when you make sugar and you add the yeast you're making you're making alcohol so so there's not going to be much malt in this beer either um i don't know what to make of it it's like carbonated fruit juice uh what do they say about the beer and i promise i get over to the 
burger then very quickly. Oh, it's all in Danish anyway, so I can understand it. Um, alcohol free. Here we are. Not really a fan of alcohol free um, beer. Um, I just don't see the point in it. For me personally, I would never buy it. I never have bought it. Uh, thank you to the brewery for sending me the beer. Uh, hazy IPA, 0.5% ABV. We do have something else from the brewery. What do we have? We have a Motueka Lager. There's probably about 4 or 5%. So they do produce stuff with alcohol. Here's lunch. Here's the burger. I'll put some mayo in there. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Hmm. Crispy batter. Terrific. I've added some nice vegan mayo. Also terrific. It's got a lovely texture to it. Crunchy texture. Hmm. And already, it feels really, really satisfying. The actual textures are so close to chicken. It's quite incredible. Mmm. Well done. Well done, Aldi. Mmm. It's really nice. But I will say, at this stage, the, the, I look at the jar, the side of the vegan mayo, it's like 65% rapeseed oil. So, a lot of oil. A lot of oil in the mayo. A lot of oil. Three, uh, two thirds of it is oil. Mmm. That, I don't meet, eat many vegan corn burgers. That is absolutely fantastic. For me, as somebody who is, I eat a lot of meat. I did a mixed grill review the other day. I eat a lot of meat and I eat a lot of vegan stuff. Only because my wife's a vegan and we kind of like, there's days where I'll just eat with her. I'll put a couple of these on and put some chips in and we'll eat vegan together. Um, so so I've got an interest in it. I've got an interest in, in veganism. Um, I, made, I made a point the other day, I reviewed the KFC Impossible, Imposter Burger. And I read an article on that and, and the fat content in the KFC Imposter Burger was not that much different from a real chicken burger. So, um, the actual health benefits are, are, are quite not very good. It's not for the health benefits. It's for the saving the planet, saving the animals aspect of it, is being a vegan. Mm. And if you want to save animals, if you want to save the planet, these for about £1.50 in Aldi are a great start. Mm. Can't stop eating it. Right, rate him. The beer, yeah, it's disappointing. I'm not going to beat around the bush. This beer... Although there's probably people out there that like alcohol-free beer, they drive the car, they have a Sunday roast, they drive to the pub, they drive back, they have a couple of Cokes or whatever. Instead of having a couple of Cokes, they can have a vegan, uh, a vegan, an alcohol-free beer. But it 
I, I'd rather drink a Coke. I, I, if I'm not going to drink, I'll drink a Coke. I, I'm not going to drink this. It's pretending to be a beer and it's it's hoppy and it's there's a little bit of grain, but it, it's just, there's nothing to it. Uh, mm, five out of ten for me for that. Just not really a fan. The vegan corn burger from Aldi is terrific. I'm really, well, you, you already kind of know this. I'm really happy with that. I'll always have these in my freezer now. They, for me, will get, I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. The Aldi Quorn Vegan Burger. 9 out of 10 from Rudolph Craft Beer. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, please share it, please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.